Is this on? Oh, wow. I need one of these every day. This is awesome. Um, so my name is Bill Oberlander. I'm the marketing director for the Robinhood Foundation. Um, and my colleague, Mark Bezos, made a presentation last year about uh, poverty. I'm getting a call. I'll turn it over here. Sorry. Um, um, ab about poverty fatigue. Um, just a little background. Robinhood is 25 years old. Um, we are the largest, most aggressive, most innovative anti-poverty poverty organization in New York City. Um, last year, we gave, uh, we granted 140, 134 million dollars to over 200 charities in the five boroughs, um, and the charities could be anywhere from, um, you know, a housing center to a new school to uh, a veterans healthcare facility, you name it, if there's something that's dragging down our neighbors in need, we will find a way to solve it. And the way that Robinhood does it the best is we use financial metrics. We actually use almost hedge fund metrics to decide where the best charities are to fight poverty the most effectively, the fastest. Now, Mark came here and talked about poverty fatigue. Um, and the question was, if we want to fight poverty, do we have to keep talking about poverty? Is there a way to actually solve this issue in New York City and fight against poverty without using the P word? And there, were, there happens to be a woman who was here last year, her name is uh, Jumana, and she was in the audience and she was struck by that. She's a strategic planner and she was so moved by this proposition of, is there a way to get around poverty fatigue? And from poverty fatigue comes donor fatigue. We keep going back to the same people, asking them for more money. And the question in the back of their head is, didn't you solve it yet? I already gave you two million last year. How do we get around this issue? So Mark finished here. Two days later, Jumana reached out to me because I had just started at Robin Hood. I actually started the week of Hurricane Sandy. That was fun. Um, and Juman and I got together for, uh, for a little breakfast. And we had a conversation about maybe we can actually stop fighting against poverty and fight, instead of against something, fight for something. So instead of fighting against poverty, why don't we fight for New Yorkers? And you just shift the whole conversation so you're not fatigued anymore. Everybody loves New York. Everybody loves New Yorkers. New Yorkers love New Yorkers. We're incredibly driven, we're incredibly relentless, we're incredibly impatient, we're incredibly smart, we're incredibly compassionate. So the whole conversation went from fighting against poverty to fighting for New Yorkers. So from that breakfast uh, came this video. And that's the video cue. <laughs> There's nothing small about the Big Apple. It does everything big works big, plays big, loves big, even cries big. Most New Yorkers weren't born here, but they arrived here to do big things. And that's the heartbeat of New York, the electrifying pulse that pumps the greatest city in the world full of adrenaline, a town that explodes with big hopes big dreams and big challenges. Remarkable challenges. But as with everything else, New Yorkers aren't ones to shy away. We embrace them, confront them. As the saying goes, if you have a problem that can't be fixed, give it to a New Yorker. Because as New Yorkers, We've never met a challenge we couldn't handle. Here, you either go big or go home. That's the spirit in which New York's Robin Hood Foundation was born 25 years ago. To improve children's lives with new classrooms and great teachers. To keep hungry families fed. To rebuild neighborhoods with sustainable housing. To stand by our returning veterans to stand tall again at ground zero, to tell Hurricane Sandy to go to hell. You see, we're all in this together, in a big way. 
That's the Robin Hood way. That's the New York way. Robin Hood, creating the greatest amount of good for the world's greatest city. See, you're all badass New Yorkers. Um, so fight poverty like a New Yorker. Um, you know, for 25 years we've been fighting poverty like hedge fund traders. And that's good, all right, because those guys have a lot of zeros next to their name. But we don't want to disturb that relationship with our high-end donors, but we want to broaden the base. Let's talk to millionaires. Let's talk to, you know, the man on the street. Everybody wants to be a New Yorker. Even if you're not from New York, the minute you get off the plane at JFK, you're in this special club. And there's no hazing and no membership fee. You're a New Yorker. And the idea actually exports really well, because we're going to start to do some fundraising in Los Angeles. Right? There's a lot of New Yorkers in LA. And the truth is, do you really want to solve poverty with somebody from, I'm going to make it up, Ohio. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I'm just saying, like, New Yorkers have a certain quality that just gets the job done. So this is an example of um, a marketing campaign that broke in May. Um, it happened right after the 12-12-12 concert that we had done um, at Madison Square Garden. It happened right around the same time. There was a 60 Minutes piece on uh, Robin Hood. And it went right into our fundraiser that happened in May, uh, where we raised $81 million in one night. And that will all go to fighting poverty in 2013. So this campaign actually broke um, throughout Manhattan. There's a couple different examples of it. Um, I think the line is really strong. I think the visual iconography is really strong. Can you go to the next slide, please? Um, again, New Yorkers, and that's a Robin Hood quality. Robin Hood has no patience. You know, we want to get the job done. We run the numbers, we find where the grantee is, we hook up our, our fundraising team to make sure that that problem gets solved, that school gets built, that library gets constructed. And there's another one here, um, right behind this. Next slide. Uh, the, city, the city will sleep when we're done. There was like five or six different executions. Um, and the campaign ran, obviously, at, in, in the outdoor space as well as in the social space. So the whole point of uh, this exercise, and like I said, I've been in, been in it now for one year, for only one year's time, is to let everybody into this, this fight against poverty by being someone who wants to fight for their neighbors in need and just broaden, broaden this, this fundraising organization to be a real viable New York City brand. And I said to the board, I said, you know, this campaign will be successful when you're as beloved as Nathan's Hot Dogs or the New York Yankees. That's who Robin should be. That's where the real power is in building this brand and getting the most fundraising to help our New Yorkers in need. So that's where we are now. That's the wrap up from Mark Bezos uh, one year ago. And thank you for your time. <laughs>